Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a beginner's guide on how to get started with TSM. So that is Trade Skill Master. It's a great add-on for the auction house and for keeping track of pricings, of items, and everything like that. So to get started, you are going to want to head over to the Curse Client, and you want to or Curse Forge, and you want to download the add-on Trade Skill Master. You don't have to download any of the others. That is all you need to get off here. It's the one with a lot of downloads. So at the moment it's got 36 million downloads. So it's that one right here. So you want to download that and then you want to head over to the TSM website. You want to make an account and then you want to come here to retail and you want to download this right here. And then you want to download this and then you also want to download the the app which is like for on your computer like the desktop app so you want to download that also and then once you have all of them downloaded you'll want to head over to app configuration and go to RAM selection and this is where you want to put in your RAM the RAMs you play on you can put multiple RAMs on and so that will keep track of the data on your RAM so so it's not loading like all the all the realms and all the different servers so it's just loading yours just so it makes it loading a bit quicker so once you have that set up you want to open up the app the desktop app and you want to configure this so you want to go to settings and you basically just want to put in your realm as you can see I have my realm here Frostmourne uh, US Frostmourne and so this will basically pair with your account on trade skill uh, master website very easy to put them together it'll have a little um like it'll walk you through it when you um first do it but i've already set mine up so it's not as easy but well i can't really show you but it will basically have the steps right here where a mouse is on how to connect their account it's very easy it's like a couple buttons so once you have the app set up or downloaded the add-on downloaded you'll be able to log into the game and your trade school master will look like this so to know that your app and you have the right data for your round, this tick here will be green. So when it is green, it means that you have the app right, you have the right round, and you have everything ready to go. So now you've got TSM set up and it's ready to go. It's already gonna start tracking a few things. So it's gonna track the tooltip. You'll be able to use that right away. So that just basically brings up this whole big box as you can see right here which has a whole heap of different information about the product that you're on, like that you're mousing over. So that is very good. You can change all the things you want to see in here. So you can change literally if you don't want to see like the can the sell rate, you can get rid of that. But I highly recommend seeing absolutely everything and it'll keep you like it'll get you to learn everything about TSM. So next, the main thing is gonna be groups. So groups is going to be a list of items that you have or that the group you have made. And so you can do certain operations to that group. So think of a group as a big list of items that you want to sell and do specific things with. And then think of the operations of what you want that group, them items to do when you're listing them or when you're crafting them or when you're doing all sort of things to them, right? So, to make groups, you can make them yourself by just clicking the plus sign here, and you can add items from your inventory. So say we want to make a group selling um, Fell Lotus, right? We can add the Fell Lotus to the group, and then we can add, we can make an operation in operations and add to that group. So an operation will be a certain thing, that task that you want the, uh, the group to do. So, We'll do a quick example here. We've got a new group. Let's call the new group Fellow like Herbs. We'll actually call it Herbs. So for an example, we'll put a few more herbs in here. Put the fell weed. And that's enough just for this example. So we've got some herbs in here. And now what we want to do is make an operation for them in auctions. So we click new, we make a new option. We can say selling herbs and now this operation we can pair with that group and when we go to sell it will do this automatically so it says um, 
right down the bottom there, it says group management and we want to add the group we just made. And now we go to the posting and you can change what the actual, when you go to post it, what you want it to do. So there is how many we want to post. So say we want to have 200 at a time on the auction house, we'll change it to that. How many want to keep it at bags? Don't post up to admin expired. Them two aren't that important. Now this is the undercutting and the pricing. So this is how it's going to price and undercut when you're posting. So for an example, it's going to post at the normal price or the same price as all the other people for an undercut, but yours would be the lowest, obviously. If you leave it just like this, I recommend changing it to one silver and then you're undercutting everyone by one silver. And then for the minimum price, this, this all this um, text and fancy thing is basically a whole heap of code which is going to tell how to list this um, this item. So if you look closely, it's pretty simple. So it's going to check first the crafting price, the DB market, the DB region market average, and then it's going to max that by 0.2% average of the crafting cost, the DB market, the DB region market, and then 1.2, uh, 1.5 of the vendor sell. So basically, it's going to uncut, undercut anyone. And if it's under the region market average value, it's not going to post at all. And then for the max, so this is if no one else is posting, basically, it is going to post for the very maximum price. And then normal will basically be undercut. Or if there's no other one, no other people posting, it will post at the DB regional market average. So basically, you can just leave all this fancy code just like this, and it's going to post it exactly how you want, undercutting people and not posting it if it's too cheap and you're not going to make profit. And then you also have a cancel scan. So if you want it to cancel, say um, if someone's undercut you, you can have it to cancel like that, or you can have it cancel to repost higher and then you change the threshold right here. So say if you could um, cancel something and then make even like another gold off it, it will actually pop up in the canceling scan by having it at one gold. You can change it to 10 gold. If you're gonna make 10 gold, then it will only cancel. Anyways, that is how you make the operation. So now we have a group and we have the operation for that group. So when we actually go to the auction house now, we will be able to use that new operation. We go to auctioning and then we go to run post scan. We want to have herb selected. That is the group we just made. And now this is the operation. So it's going to undercut the person selling them. So it's going to post up for 99 silver and then this one for three gold and 96 silver. And what we can do is just post that up and that's going to post them all automatically for us. Now, to make bigger groups, you can add like a lot more <clears throat> a lot more items into it but to make specific groups i recommend heading over to tsm website and you can actually go to where is it under auctions groups view all and right here people actually make groups and post them up here and so these are groups of items so they can be all different things so for an example let's do mounts this will have a list of all the mounts as you can see here is a list of all of the mounts. And so we could actually copy this import string, just like that. Go over to our TSM, to this part right here, where it says import group, and we could import this group. And that is a lot quicker way. And now we have the group of all the mounts that someone else has already made for us. So we can change that to mounts. And voila, now we have a group for that. And we can make an operation to sell the mounts like we just showed before. So that is a great way you can make like, let's, let's actually hop over here. You can actually find a whole heap of different groups for like, like say for your professions, say for, um, there's like silk, there's epic gems, there is cooking, mining. Like there is a whole heap, I'm talking a whole heap. So like this list of all the gems, all the bars, all the blacksmithing items, like absolutely everything, all the transport items, everything you could think of, people have made groups and put them on the TSM website for your convenience to use. So I do recommend using them. It's a lot. You can make a whole heap of groups really easily, just like this. 
And so that is how the groups work. When you click on ledger here, this is basically just gonna be a report history of all the items you've sold. So if you go to revenue, these are all the items that you've sold recently. You can go to the resales, what you've transferred to the other characters, um, failed options, there's a whole heap of data you can track with this. And on the dashboard too, you're gonna to have a, um, a whole heap of data too that you can keep track of how much gold you're making to know if you're actually profiting, things like that. And then another thing that you want to know as a beginner for using TSM would be to learn the macro and this is basically you can make a macro where you can spam click it and it will do certain things so what I like to do is set it up for everything except cancelling and vendoring and then I like to put it on scroll wheel mouse directions up and down and then I like to use um, CTRL so control and so when I make this macro what it's actually going to do it's going to make a macro in our macro book right here and so it's going to do all them things when we click it and then we had the key the key binds for that set to control up and down on the mouse wheel so let's go to what well, we've got it on our bars so i believe it's just here so control up control down and now when we click control and squirrel our mouse wheel up and down it is going to spam post things super super fast and all the um all the other things that we told the macro to do so say if you're on the shopping screen it's going to buy them more if you're on the snipe it's going to buy them more if you're on the destroy it's going to destroy next button and then you can just spam and it'll keep on destroying and then with your posting it's going to spam post them super quick spam cancelling etc so i recommend trying that as a beginner it'll help you out to scan a whole heap of items really quick and then basically that will get you going right now you'll be able to resell things you'll be able to sell things for the proper price we'll have a little look at the tooltip so the tooltip has your the minimum buyout that I recommend for the auction db then it will have the market value and then it will have the history price the region market value average so that's like all the rounds in your region the historical price the region average and then another really important thing to look at is the region sale rate. So this is the rate of how often it sells. The higher this number is, the better. And then the region average daily sale is how many daily sales this item gets, right? So you want to have them numbers higher. The higher, the better. It means they're going to sell better on the auction house. All right, so now you should be able to um, download um, TSM, set it up correctly. Um, know how to make groups, operations, and all the basic beginner stuff like that. So you should be set to go. Hopefully this video helped. I have a bit more details about this in my gold making guide. If you want to grab a copy of that, it'll be the first link down in the description box below this video. We can check that out. And it goes over a whole heap of different things too, like gold farming methods, a whole heap of secrets on how to make gold in World of Warcraft. But if you enjoyed this um, TSM, beginner's guide be sure to hit that subscribe button it lets me know that you enjoyed the content and it really helps me out and also subscribe because i post daily gold making videos and tips just like this one